Hey guys, Pete here with Jaya Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to add a web mapping service to your Leaflet web map. In addition, we'll use a layer control so you could toggle on and off that web mapping service with another background. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I'm using a very simple leaflet web map, and I'll leave a link in the description down below on a video I did not too long ago about creating a very simple web map such as this. And the data I'm using is from this website here, Iowa State University, and they have some free web map service, WMS data that you could pull, and more specifically, I'm gonna pull some precipitation data. Okay, so let's go and add that. We'll go back to our, our code and I'll add a variable. I'll call it precipitation. And that equals a new L dot tile layer dot WMS. Okay, within the double quotes here, I'm gonna add this address right here. And we'll paste that right here. Let's go ahead and add a comma and a curly bracket and to specify what the layer name is. So we'll say layers and we'll do a single quote. We'll also need to specify the format. And some transparency. Okay, so we got the layers. The name I'm going to use is this 24 hour precipitation layer. And we'll paste that right here. The format, I know that it's an image, a PNG. And transparent, we'll say true on this one. Looking at this, it was saying that any missing data will be transparent, so I'm just going to Go ahead and enable that right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and add, let's go ahead and add another base map. Um, so right over here, we'll do a variable, open street map, and that's gonna equal L tile layer. And where I'm getting that is I come over here to map Tyler and I'm able to pull um, a variety of different maps. I'll leave a link in the description down below on a video I did specifically for this. So if you come down here to tile layers and I am going to copy this and we'll go ahead and Paste it right here within the double quotes. Okay, so for the layer control, do a variable, say base maps, and that's going to equal to OSM. Okay, and also imagery. Oh, excuse me, I'll say aerial. And this is ESRI world imagery. So the first here in the double quotes, that's what's gonna be labeled on the map itself. The second name here, this is what we actually have uh, called out in the code. Okay, so let's go ahead and Finalize that, and then another variable, we'll call it overlay maps. And that's going to equal curly brackets, precipitation. That's why I want it called in the layer control. In the map, it's just called precipitation, lowercase. And we'll add L control. 
dot layers, base maps, comma overlay maps. So we're calling the, both of those into that layer control, and we're going to add to map. Okay, so I'll go and save that, and we'll refresh the map here. And you can see that we have the letter control. I could go from OpenStreetMap to my aerial, and we could add that precipitation, um, the 24-hour precipitation here. Okay, guys, so I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, please leave a comment down below. If you have any suggestions on future videos, I do appreciate that as well. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, please hit that subscribe button because I do try to put a video out every week. If you're already a subscriber, I do appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you all next time.